tail end, this is drill number two. Um, this drill now focuses on pulling with that left side, left leg, okay? Um, <clears throat> this was a drill that um, really made a huge difference on me because when I threw, I never used to post up on my left leg. Post up simply means to cement that leg and drive. I was always just bent and then just kind of falling over the top um, when I would throw. And I had a college coach that introduced this drill to me. It's a very basic drill. Um, I was just never taught how to do it properly, so I never utilized it. Now I utilize it all the time. It's a great drill to have. Um, <clears throat> and I think it can help tremendously for you and your son, just kind of getting him to feel certain positions. Um, with all these drills, we're just overemphasizing a point of the throw. And then what that's gonna eventually do is once they go do the real thing, they don't have to think as hard, they don't have to work as hard, it should just come second nature with a ton of reps, okay? <clears throat> so this drill is a post-up drill. Um, I just have a 25 kilo plate. You can have a wood block. You can stack up a couple plates. You can make this as high or as low as you want. I definitely recommend nothing higher at the start than maybe a 25 kilo plate or a 45 pound bumper plate. Those would probably be your best options to start. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna set up. Remember, when we're setting up, we're in that heel to toe relationship. Weight is on that right leg. I'm gonna place my foot right in the middle of the disc and I'm gonna set myself up onto the throw. And the whole purpose of this is we are driving into the disc, turning, and then we are stepping over, okay? Which is forcing you to extend up on that leg as we step over, all right? So foot is in the, on the, foot is in the middle of the disc, heel-toe relationship, we're loading up that right leg. So in real time, it's gonna go from here, up, push, and step, all right? You can do actual throws with this. If you wanna get more repetition in with the throw, I definitely recommend it. With any of these drills, I really recommend just at least holding an implement, whether you're just simply holding a medicine ball, like so, or you actually wanna hold it up like a shot. Um, if you have something small enough for him to hold up onto the neck, I definitely recommend it, but if you don't, have him hold the medicine ball up near the shoulder, because that's just gonna help just get a feel. We don't do anything with just the legs or the upper body, it's all moving at one time. So being able to hold an implement while you're doing these is great. So again, post-up drill, foot is in the middle, heel-toe relationship, weight over that right leg, reaching down for Bugs Bunny, I'm pushing with the right, posting up, and stepping over, okay? Great drill to teach you how to post up on that leg. First couple of times, you're gonna be a little bit sore in that hip flexor because you have to work a little bit harder to drive and extend up over the top. So that's drill number two, it's called the post-up drill. I recommend maybe doing about five throws with something underneath there, just to kind of get that left leg going, get that pull and that extension at the top of the throw working in your favor.